What's going on everybody? This is One-Eyed Willie showing you another Solo Duo Trio roof bunker base design. This design is similar to the last base I showed, except it has two loot rooms inside of the vault and one loot room outside of the vault. It also has plenty of space to fit a tier two and the new mixing table in it as well. This is the loot room upstairs. We dropped on the ladder hatch and we have two furnace rooms as well to cook up all the ore that you can possibly need. When we break our roof, we have access to the base. Inside it, we obviously have our tool cupboard, our level three workbench, and then two triangle loot rooms off to each side. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to build the base. So to start building the base, we're gonna start with two square foundations and then three triangle foundations off of each side and all of these are going to be high quality. And then go ahead and wall off every part. Here we're going to put our doorway to get in and out of our base. The doorway can be sheet metal. Everything else should be armored. And then we can go ahead and fill in the roof as well. And all of this is going to be armored as well. You can build this in stages. You are obviously not gonna have enough high quality metal to go right to armor right off the bat. So you can build it in stone and then upgrade it later. But all everything inside the vault that is shown as high quality should be high quality. We can go ahead and place our, tier, our TC. And this can be a window TC or you can do a door if needed and then off each side of the room here. We are going to have our loot rooms. And then I would just add extra honeycombing in this triangle here. We don't really use this triangle, but you can leave it open as well if you want to fit more furnaces or something else of the sort. But it is not needed in the base design, so we're going to go ahead and wall it off with some extra honeycomb. But then just like that, you have your nice little base, and this can even be used as a starter as well until you get going. I would recommend just adding a wooden airlock to it for the time being, and then having this door open up out the other way. But we're going to go ahead and just expand the base right off the bat. Make sure the door does open in. It does help with the roof bunker later on. We're going to go ahead and add two square foundations just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and add triangles off of every side of it with another triangle uh, right here on each side. And then we can go ahead and add triangles all around it for our honeycomb. And all of these can be sheet metal. And you are, you are going to want to destroy both of the twig foundations that we built. These two walls here and here are going to want to be armored and then everything else can go ahead and go to sheet metal. And then we can fill in the roof. This can be sheet metal as well. And here we're going to add our floor frame and this is where our ladder hatch goes. We're actually going to want to destroy these two walls here. Don't put those down because that is where our furnaces go. That is a mistake on my part. But we can go ahead and fix it really easily. Just be sure to not put those walls down when building the base. Um, to place the furnaces a little bit better, it does help to put, have this foundation here so you are on level ground. But we can go ahead and fill in both of these triangles with furnaces. And then we can add our honeycombing to them as well with the hard side facing outward. Just like that. So now we can go and start expanding up top. And to start, I would go ahead and add all the honeycomb around the outside. It does help with the building because it gives you a little bit more room to work with. But, like I said, you can kind of build this at your own pace. And if you build this base more than once, you're going to find some tricks that help you be able to place it better and faster. 
And then off either side, it doesn't really matter. You're going to want to add one extra triangle foundation in the gap here. And we can go ahead and wall that up as well. And then we can go ahead and add triangle floors to each of the tops of the honeycomb. And then we also have to add honeycomb here yet. And there we go. So now we can go ahead and continue expanding. I would start by adding walls all around the vault. These can all go up to sheet metal. And then walls just like this to honeycomb the main the upstairs look from here. And then we can add walls around our main hallway. And we can add doors to the front just like that. Here I'm going to put double door frames because we are going to have shop fronts in them to be able to see outside of our base. And we can go ahead and add the doors in as well. I would recommend having armor doors here uh, if you have them, but early game most people don't have armor doors at their disposal. So sheet metal is obviously going to work for the time being. And then I would also just put a garage door here, just so that it's harder to see what exactly is going on inside your base. And then we can put another garage door here, another one here, and another one here. And that's pretty much the outline of the base. So we can go ahead and top everything up just like this with honeycomb covering and this can all be sheet metal as well and then we can add uh, finally our roof honeycomb just like this going covering each of the square roofs we don't have to worry about any of the triangle ones and then we can go ahead and top off our roof honeycomb as well And then we can add extra layers to all of the necessary honeycomb on the outside. You don't have to worry about honeycomb here and here because this leads into honeycomb. Just like shown now. So we're going to have to add honeycomb here to protect this wall. Here to protect this wall. And here to protect this wall as well. And we can go ahead and top that up with ceilings or floors. And all of this can be sheet metal. Like I said earlier, you don't have to have everything sheet metal right away. But you are going to want to upgrade everything to sheet metal or high quality sooner or later. And on this build server, we can just go straight to, um, straight to sheet metal. So usually you're going to want to have a, uh, a roof here to be able to get up. But as you can see, uh, I built it in a, a poor spot. So to get around this, what I would do is if you can get a um, a half height foundation here go ahead and put a wall here just like that and then we can add a step to it and that will work just as well it might not be as pretty as the roof but it does work all the same it just allows you to get inside and outside of your base and if you do use the stairs you can even put shock and traps underneath it to kind of protect um, protect out just like this and then just like this but that is up to you usually I do go for the roof but you have to learn to adapt on rust and you can even go down just like that even more so now you have a complete uh, staircase up into your base and then I'm just gonna go ahead and show some of the other things that I like to put down inside of this base so obviously up here we can use this as a loot room um, you can use the square for whatever you want. If you think two loot rooms are enough, you can use this as a power room to put turrets on, up uh, outside your base. But I like using it as just an extra loot room. We can fit our uh, mixing table here, right against this wall. The tier two can go here, right against this wall. We can drop down, 
I also like to add shotgun traps facing this ladder hatch just in case somebody does get that far. Um, it will um, shoot them as soon as they break this and drop down. Um, and then in here, we can obviously add um, more boxes on each side like this and then two more on top as well. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and place them just for quick placement. And then the tier three I like to put against this wall here. Um, and then you can also fit two small boxes underneath. And then we can obviously fit more sleeping bags in this vault as well. And you can even do beds if you want. Um, it does make it a little bit more crowded. But I usually just opt for uh, sleeping bags for you and all your, your team. And then before um, you place this garage door here, you probably are going to have to pick up these sleeping bags. But once they're opened up, you shouldn't have a problem placing them right underneath it. Just like that. Um, and I would recommend a garage door here, as well as one on each side protecting both loot rooms. Um, just, just makes the cost of the raid a little bit uh, more expensive for the raider. Um, and that's, you know, the goal of Rust. And then to go ahead and seal off our vault at the end of the day, when we get off for the night, you're going to want just one foundation here. If you have one here, I'll go ahead and show you why you don't want one. Um, and it does just make the um, armored roof not disappear when you break it. So you're going to want to leave this spot blank as well. And then we can go ahead and place down our roof. Just like that. And now you have your completely sealed off bunker. That you can break and have access to your full base. When you log on each day. I would also not recommend having a roof triangle here. Although it might look like it covers enough. If somebody had a flamethrower and got up here they can easily flame down into the gap here and the flames will break the, the uh, twig foundation below so you are going to want just a uh, regular square um, square roof to cover up your vault at the, at the end of the day so i do hope that you enjoyed this base i'll go ahead and show you the upkeep like i do on all my videos this is the upkeep for the base including the vault um, I would recommend leaving just one stack of wood in your TC at all times, just for the vault, um, the vault square here. Um, so that way you never have to really worry about it. But like I said, it is a cheap and efficient base for a solo duo or trio. And I think that um, there will be a lot of success um, with this base. And you can even beef it up a little bit more by adding um, extra honeycomb in certain spots like here. Um, and a uh, second level above um, is shown here. Um, you can go ahead and kind of tweak it to make it your own. And um, I do hope that everybody that uses this um, base design does have a lot of success with their their wipe. And I think this space is just something that can help a lot of new players survive a little bit longer than they might um, usually. So, like I said, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy the video and um, want to support me, you can go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel. It does help grow my channel, and it helps me feel like I'm uh, doing a good job. So, um, without further ado, um, I would like to thank everybody for watching the video. And like I said, I do hope that this base brings success to a lot of people's um, rust wipes.